So what can you grow when it gets this hot? I'm talking it's 90 right now. It'll be 100 before the day's over and about 100 or thereabouts all week long and even I think into next week. So what can you plant when it's this dadgum hot in the south? Well, let me show you. So we're about to plant southern peas. Um, southern peas can be anything from black eyes, purple hull, crowder, cream, and many variations thereof. These first two rows are going to be purple hull peas, and I'll show you those in just a minute. So this tape is from earlier this year. This is from my spring planting of corn and green beans. And I just, uh, I pulled it up and um, I'm gonna reuse it for uh, one last planting, one last time this season. Get two uses of it this season. I'm not gonna go through here with the uh, tape laying machine that Hoss has with only four rows. Now, if these rows were 100 feet long, 200 feet, yeah, I'm gonna use that machine. With just 40 foot rows, it's just as easy or easier to lay them out uh, by hand. Plus, uh, the fact that I'm reusing this tape, I can hook it up, uh, it's not buried, I can turn it on, make sure there's no uh, leaks in it and such. Everything's working great before I uh, plant. And uh, it'll be sitting on top of the ground and this will be the last time I use it. When I'm done with the bees, I will be done with um, this drip tape and we'll uh, throw it away. I've got it uh, laid in um, on top of the ground. I'm gonna plant double rows. I'm gonna plant about six inches apart on either side of that tape. So instead of six rows of peas, which it looks like right now, six drip lines, I will have 12 rows of peas because I'm gonna double row in a, uh, in a small area. So again, about a 40 foot long, uh, and I'm planting these about six feet apart. Turn the water on and make sure I don't have any leaks before I proceed with planting southern peas. Okay, so I've had the drip tape turned on for a few minutes now. I don't see anything major. Sometimes there are some pretty good little misty type leaks right at the fitting. And that's usually caused from having an emitter right there where you're trying to tighten it up. So I'm going to, uh, I'll snip that off and pull it in a half inch or so and get rid of that, get, get away from that emitter, cut off the emitter, and then it should stop most of that. Now, I'm not gonna run this very long because um, I don't want the, the, the ground to get gummy. Fix it coming through here with a, a cedar and I'm afraid I'm, if, I, if it's wet, I'm gonna have problems uh, with the cedar getting gummed up and stuff. So I'll run through here, show you that, and I'm just gonna use these hoses. That's why I try to get them pretty straight. Just use these hoses for my line of sight for uh, uh, planting. I'll plant on either side of these hoses. So here's the peas I'm gonna be planting. It's a Mississippi purple hull pea. I believe it's a top pick, which means it makes uh, most of the peas on top of the plant. Don't have to do quite as much bending over. Uh, Mississippi, Mississippi purple hull pea from Haas. And then a zipper cream. That's my favorite right there, I gotta admit. Zipper cream pea. And those are my favorite. I like pinto beans better than zipper cream peas. But I like zipper creams a whole lot better than I like black eyes and purple hulls. That's just my own likes. You got your own likes. In fact, tell me your likes. Tell me what you like. As far as a southern pea, do you like cream peas, crowder peas, black eyed peas, purple hull peas? And if so, which kind? There's several different. There's a pink eye purple hull and a top pick purple hull. These are Mississippi purple hull. There's a lot of different kinds of, of purple hull peas and there's several different cream peas also these are zipper cream which uh, supposedly easier to shell supposed to come out of the uh, shell a little easier like you unzipping it and uh, but what's your favorite pea what's what's your favorite pea to eat as well as to grow let me know so here's how I plant peas uh, most all my attachments and gardening tools uh, like this are um, are from Haas but this is an old Earthway, I believe it's what it's called, an Earthway Garden Cedar. This is the plate we'll use, and it, uh, it is gonna plant them pretty thick. That's the pea plate. You put the plate in there, it drops down through the, the hole in the bottom. This planter is probably 
20 years old, maybe more than that. Um, it's just it's just a great, great little old planter. Um, so probably, probably many of y'all have one just like it. 97 degrees outside. So if I can get them to grow in the heat, I bet you you can too. Planting peas in the hot summer, southern peas. Let's do it. I cannot stress enough how incredibly helpful and um, time-saving, labor-saving, 97 degrees, and it just didn't even break out of sweat, uh, those cedars are, those push cedars, those little hand cedars. They just, they are incredible as to what they do, and uh, not for a lot of money. So I'll put a link to this one, the one I have below. It's the one I've had, again, for 20 years or plus, maybe who knows 25 or 30 had a long long time so i'll put a link to it below and i'll also put a link to hoss or my my associate link to hoss is always below and they sell a cedar too you may want to look at both of them and see what you think turned on the drip i'm really not sure this drip is going to be enough initially uh i really believe i want to come in here with a hand water and just water these in real good because this ground is just powder powder dry I've got my little timer on it and if you don't if you have a drip system and you are going out there and trying to remember to turn it on and off that timer is like 11 or 12 bucks i'll put a link to it below it is i, I bought like four or five of them i mean they're really really nice i use those timers every 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 day the main thing is the peas getting these done these will be like i say double rows of peas one on each side of this drip and then i've got like a five foot area here hopefully that's going to be Hopefully that's going to be enough for my wife. She does not like picking peas and having to wade through just a, a cluster of peas to try to find a walkway. She wants a designated walkway in, in between. So uh, that's hopefully what I've done here. And uh, I really feel like I've got that timer set on two hours. And I'll come back out here and reset it on another two. But I'm just, I'm wondering if maybe tomorrow, if I don't come out here with a with a watering wand and just water these in where I planted uh, on both sides of that. Then let the uh, drip irrigation take hold. But I need to water it, uh, I would say, just about every day uh, until they get germinated and get up. Peas, southern peas are pretty forgiving, pretty drought tolerant. Uh, if you plant this time of year though, you are gonna have to water them some. Uh, probably not a whole lot. Again, drought tolerant to a certain extent, but um, they will uh they'll do well if you if you water them and they'll do well in the summertime they just they, they like the heat i grew a bunch of them last year planted them about this same time last year and they did real real well so i know it'll happen and uh if you've got some garden space and you're wondering what the heck should you do in this uh in this hot hot weather we're all having in the south uh and you've got some space available peas uh southern peas black eyed purple hull crowder cream Southern peas will do well in uh, in the summer. They do. Got to water them, but you don't have to water them a bunch. They're pretty tolerant of the drought. So plant you some peas. Uh, I hope I'm through. Still 97 on my fancy smancy watch. And that guy, I think I'm gonna go inside and edit this video where it's cool. <laughs> All right. Whew, this was about a three day, two or three day video with uh, pulling up the corn stalks and all that stuff. But anyway, it turned out real good, I hope. Hopefully they'll, uh, they'll germinate and we'll have a bunch of peas to show you in just a couple of weeks. All right, we're gone.